hi, my name is Genki and I'm from Kosovo. But right now, I'm visiting Prague. You're watching Fun for Louis. Boom. Good morning, guys. Check this view out. How insane is that? This is just heaven. It's a good feeling waking up in a tropical paradise cabin in the jungle. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's wildlife everywhere. We were just sitting out here for about two hours this morning, just taking it all in and watching birds flying around and little green lizards running around on the reef. This is one of those places that you just don't want to leave, you know. We were saying it would be quite cool to pause time here and just, just be. Guys, check out those mangoes. Are those mangoes? I think they're mangoes. Look at our little cabin in the daytime. You can see all the pictures I was showing you last night. So cool. How awesome is this place right now? Amazing. I wish we could stay here for at least a week. Well, one day, when we have all the tree houses, we can make our own. So we're going to head down to a beach called Winifred Beach. It's nearby. Apparently it's one of the less touristy beaches. Hey! Hey Mrs. Great. Meh. Meh. Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> we are no longer on Google Maps. We're on a, a random track leading down to what we're hope I hope is the beach, but who knows. And it's pretty extreme. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Check this out. Oh yeah, that, there's the beach down there. Oh! That did not sound good. Don't worry about it, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Guys, look down there. Yes, we're gonna go down and find some coconuts. Can we get some coconuts? Can we get some coconuts? Hey, my friend, where are you going? Hey. Awesome. Thanks. Cheers. So the original plan today was to go to the Blue Lagoon, but apparently that's where like busloads of tourists from the cruise ships go. So this is a local kind of secret beach that we told about and unfortunately it was a little bit too late to do the rafting because we should have le left like early morning to do that but we had a beautiful morning um, so I don't mind this guy in the hut behind me has just lent me a mask and snorkel which I was like really sad I didn't have the other day so I'm excited to go and explore there's a little reef out here so I'm gonna go, go and explore that maybe I'll put this camera in the waterproof casing again and film some bits.
sun sets so early because it's not even five and look, like the whole bay is in shade unfortunately, but it's okay, we had a really lovely swim and Louis is still out there actually chasing fish or something. Um, but yeah, this water is perfect. It's so warm and it's so clear. When the water was like up to my neck out there, I could still see my feet perfectly. of little zebra fish. I think really? Aww. I took photos. Yay! <laughs> Guys, did you see those tiny little zebra fish that are swimming around by the tree? I was not expecting those fish here. And, th and then some guy as I was getting out told me there's a reef right there, like if I swam out a bit further. But um, you also saw those sea urchins, so I didn't want to risk stepping on one of those. That would have been pretty bad. And I didn't have any flippers. Did you have a nice swim, Raya? Yeah, so good. And I feel like you could float really well. Yeah. Here. yeah. But that was bad for me because I wanted to sink. I wanted to sink so I could swim with the fish, but. I was floating and it was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> He chopped little bits off the coconut that we can use to scoop it out like a spoon. Is it yummy? Raya has kindly offered to cook something back at the cabin. What have you got, Raya? We're making the bean thing again because it's what you requested, even though I can cook more than this, okay? This is just... So this really is the best thing. Okay, well, you haven't... Okay, whoa. You haven't had anything that I've cooked. You cannot say that. Oh, why do they call them peas here? Can any Jamaicans tell yeah, us? Yeah, those are beans. Oh, red kidney beans. Red yeah, I know, peas. But that's why people here, they call it like rice and peas. But I, I was like, no, no, I want rice and beans. They're like, yeah. And I'm like, what? So that's oh. a different thing. Guys, have you ever seen orange juice in a tin before? Hey, Mr. Frog, come back. I forgot to show you guys around the house this morning. So, I mean, there's not much to see, but this is the, this is the like downstairs. This is a little gas stove that's running off this big gas thing down here. And then this is the bathroom and shower with no door. So I could just be using the toilet here Please don't. and being like, Please hey don't. Raya. <laughs> can, is there anything I can do to help? You can open these cans. Yeah? Yeah. Your arm looks huge. <laughs> okay. Okay, but don't splat. No, you're not supposed to spill it. Sorry, ready? Ready. <laughs> Yay! I'm making myself a little coffee. Raya doesn't drink coffee, otherwise I would be making her one too. Thanks. <laughs> I just need to double check in here because yesterday there was a beetle in, in the kettle. There was? Yeah. Dinner's ready. Look at these tables that Raya found. Yeah. You need to bring Lost. Where's Lost? Oh, where do I put it? Well, oh, you can We see have it. watched so much Lost, guys. We are up to episode 17. When do we start? Like, also, two? no. Some of you are trying to tell us clues of what's going to happen in the future in the comments. Please don't do that. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> I'm not even going to read these comments. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. But just no, no spoilers. <laughs> 
Yes, lost. So we have an early morning tomorrow because we've got to drive back to Kingston to get our flights in the afternoon. And I'm thinking I'm not going to get up and have time to do the painting. So let's do it tonight before we're like hurrying tomorrow and packing and everything. So we've got some paints here, which they're left out. And then we just need to find uh, an empty patch on the wall and think of a think of a thing to paint. So this is my spot. I'm going to sketch it out first with this pencil. So I've sketched it out. I almost bumped into that cat. Well, not that cat. Hey. Do you ever have that thing where like you run out of room and then you start squeezing the letters really small? That's why it's always a good idea to sketch them out first. It's so relatable. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is true. Doesn't that happen yeah, to you guys? Yeah, it's true. That always happens to me. It's done, look. And that is the completed painting YT thingy. I think that looks pretty good. Put my name in the middle of the sun. Oh, Cause that's you, you're like a big beam of sunshine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice, thank you. Guys, look, it's a firefly. And it's just chilling, walking on our roof. Well, it's the last night in our jungle hut and I really love this place. I cannot wait to build something similar one day when I finally buy some land, maybe with Dave, if that all happens. Uh, again, I know I've talked about it a lot, but it's a dream. It's something I really would love to happen. I might try and talk to the guy um, who owns this whole place and has built these houses and stuff tomorrow morning, if we have time, um, just to ask him a bit about it and maybe he'll give us a little tour of some of the other houses. Um, and then, yeah, then we're driving to back to Kingston and getting on our flights. So I better get some sleep. See you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.